then uh, also welcome for, uh, in the name of the German MENA University Network, which you will get to know all members today bit after bit. So I'll not uh, like spend a lot of time uh, introducing everyone, but uh, give the welcoming words to Professor Kerstin Kochter of the Technical University in Ham uh, Hamburg and um, the floor is yours. You're unmuted. Ah. Unmute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Ayla, and uh, welcome to everybody. Um, a warm welcome from Hamburg. Um, you're here in a very important session tackling a topic that is uh, becoming more and more crucial all over the world. So what we have is climate problems, energy problems and waste. There is and still increasing waste problem around the world, or let's say it's a challenge. And let's boil it down to the question, waste is a resource in the wrong place. So there is something that we can do with it. You know that the prognosis show that we will have increases in waste amounts worldwide until 2050. So it's not a time to wait that the waste is disappearing, but it's the right time to face this challenge and to go ahead. We have increasing waste amounts around the world and we have an increasing complexity of waste. So if you think back a thousand years, then it was mineral waste from construction and organic waste and both was not a real problem for the environment. But nowadays with densely populated areas, you have all these complex packaging, hazardous wastes, electronic wastes, cars. And you see there are some wastes that you already know sound like there is a business option in and others that we have to take care because we have to protect the environment and the citizens that live around this. And we know that around the world it's very different and in some areas um, there is no collection, in others there's a good collection. But you know, starting a treatment and starting a circular economy means we have to collect the remains of the society, the remains of our life and to bring it back into the circle and prevent that it's going somewhere into the environment. And to do this, it's a long, a long history of education and awareness raising. And we have to have qualified people all around the world to take care about the waste, to install systems. And that's then on the next slide where we go into these uh, different aspects that we have to take care here. Perfect. Um, we need knowledge, and that means not only knowledge on an expert level, but we need educated people in administration, in, in the companies, the construction companies and the process engineering companies. We need educated people even on the citizen level, because you have to have the acceptance and you have to have sustainable systems. So if we think about implementation of a waste management system. In some regions of the world, it's long, long ago done. In others, it needs to be newly enveloped. And in all, we need a continuous development of this. And to be fair, we need financial support for this. What is an extreme crucial question nowadays when we have all the crisis around the world and the inflation going up, but we need money for this. And even though the resource has some value to implement the system and to control the system, very important to control the system, we need financial agreements in the society. We have to communicate the engineering work that we have, the targets that there are, and we have to negotiate with the societies what is the next step where we go and then find the final 
joint agreement. We have to operate these uh, facilities and therefore we need qualified persons that they can operate it. And you know, there have been some really, really bad experience in the, in the history that new equipment, new facilities and infrastructure was erected somewhere. And then there was no one able to take care of it. And this is then the ruins that we have around the world of high tech and no one is able to operate it. So we need a, a very broad basis of knowledge that we have the possibility to operate these things around the world. For collection, it's the same. We need data. We need even data science and big data on this. So it's not something that simple anymore and we need all qualified people on all different levels, academia, but vocational as well. So a lot of training is necessary. And at the end, there should be this positive effect and this has to be sold as well. And the opportunities for the secondary resources have to be have to be made clear and have to be tuned that it's for the right situation, the best option. And this is a crucial point. The waste management system and the resource circle is not the same for every region. It has to be adopted. And therefore, we need education on the spot and all the brains that we find there. If you just think about compost, very simple thing. Good to have this organic cycle, but you have to have the acceptance and you have to have the area where to put it and to get the knowledge how to make it pure and clean so that no harm is coming from them. But it's the same for plastic. Well discussed and a lot of need of uh, plants, but you have to have the knowledge to identify the opportunities that there are and the limits. So is it the way to erect a circle plant, a, a center plant, or do we have to operate this decentralized? Very crucial questions for everywhere in the world, and we have a lot of experience over the last couple of years um, to trigger this. We know we need the people on the sites, we need the people everywhere around the world to discuss this and to come to good solutions. Sustainability is uh, an interesting target and a challenging target. And we have to make sure that not everyone is starting at number one and then following every step that was done on the world, even though it was without success. So that we freak lob, uh, loop freak this, um, loop frog, this negative experience and just go where the state of the art is now. And if we then put all this together, this is a real contribution to the, yeah, next one, great, to the SDGs, so the Sustainable Development Goals. And if you check them closely, you see there is no sustainability goal for waste. Why is this? Because the waste question is so strongly connected to all of these other targets that there's no need to have a one goal only the responsible consumption number 12 sure there we have some waste questions in but number 11 sustainable cities and communities here is the question and therefore we have to educate people but the same is with the climate action it's so strongly connected to climate any resources that you keep in the cycle will help to protect the climate the water the land and even stronger, make the community stronger and the partnership. So, and with this, this uh, strong statement from our side that it's needed, that we need the education worldwide to have a same level discussion around the world and not to just bring something somewhere, but to create the communities and the knowledge in everywhere on the world. We uh, found the solution that education, and especially the education that we already uh, developed and have proven, 
is one of the key factors to come over this um, asymmetry and the, the, the challenges that we have, resources and climate. And with this, I hand back to Abdallah, I think. Thanks. Yes, thank you very much for this very insightful and like on the point, like so many things are in there, so many important things to mention. And I think you mentioned so many in so little time. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, the next one indeed will be Abdallah Nasur, who is uh, our project leader in this from the University in Rostock, as he was like the binding, the bridge between Germany and MENA connecting, uh, bringing together our universities and um, also uh, me and Jin Yang Gu from the TU Hamburg uh, as uh, the other part of the project team will now present you the, uh, our project we had for the, one, the last one and a half years uh, before our MENA partners will give you a statement afterwards. Abdallah, the floor is yours. I'll stop Thanks. sharing. Thanks, Ayla, for the introduction and um, thanks Kerstin for this, sorry. Maybe Ayla, can you share the presentation? Yes. Or now it's, I think it was mine. And then it's mine. Okay, so um, maybe something, some information about our project. Really, I, I will start with our partner. And uh, our partner in the region from Algeria, the University Constantine, from Egypt, the University Enchems, uh, and from Jordan, the Just University, and from Morocco, the uh, University. And we from Germany, we are three universities and all work related to the waste management. Next, please. So, really, if you look to the waste management situation in the MENA region. MENA region is really facing challenges, a lot of challenges regarding its waste management. All the country, believe me, of a lot of problems with the waste management. But if we look really, you know, more than 30 years in the region, we established uh, it's mean uh, Ministry for Environment. We established really authority for waste management. And in the last, from the 30 years until now, we had a lot of projects, international projects, GIZ, KFW, EU, and so on. But sorry, until now, yeah, the dump site was 90 to 95 is the main disposal way. Yeah. Really, then we should ask why. Yeah. My opinion, waste management and circular economy is more responsibility, applicable from work and organization more than technical. If we look really to the country, to the main country, we look for the technique, but sorry, we don't look for who will take the responsibility. Yeah? What about the applicable from work? What about organization? What about financing and so on? Yeah? Really one answer for it, maybe the education. But the must law remain on paper. If we go to the country, we have a lot of regulation, but the must of this regulation remain on paper. Yeah. Why really we don't have people yeah, in the ministry, in the, uh, uh, in the uh, municipality, in the private sector, that's mean to do the job. Yeah. Next slide, please. So, the objectives of German MENA University not work. So really to create critical mass of expert for the sustainable circular economy application. So that's our target. It's mean, if we speak about not only waste management, circular economy, we need education. We need education. It's mean, would we'll speak about regulation, about technologies, about financing, about uh, sustainability and so on. That's it means our target to create this mass and expert. Then, really, we speak about investment. And to do the investment, we need expert. If we do investment in waste management, it means then we do the investment for the next 30, 40 years. Yeah? It's not easy with this education to make this decision. 
Yeah? Then if we do the investment, yeah, what about the development in the communities yeah, in this uh, project? Then it means we do the investment and we need people to make this decision. Yeah? And only educate people can do this decision long term, uh, short term and long term. Then, yes, we really, we look in the country to create job and job opportunity yeah, for different uh, categories. And if we really start with waste management, then we can we can start about to build uh, containers, to build pins, to build on so on. It means we need a lot of cooperation in uh, in this way to create a um, uh, job. That's really the main object of our project. That's again, if we look, it's mean for our cooperation, that's uh, uh, really our partner. We are very happy with this uh, partner. So, and we are ready to increase this cooperation to another uh, uh, countries in the re region and in the world. Yeah, we are ready. Yeah, and we are, we are really three universities in Germany. All right, and work, uh, work together and work and uh, waste management. And we together have a lot of, of know how, and we are ready to give this know how really to the country. Really, uh, with prevent members during our project, we had a lot of cooperation with our prevent members. Yeah, and uh, the most of it means the most of them was integrated in the lecture and seminar and so on. Yeah, and. We have the lo local stakeholder. Yeah, it means now we cooperate with local stakeholder. Really, I am. And it means after one week in in Jordan and with uh, our partner, we meet using the universe, uh, the uh, city of Erbit, and we will discuss about the solution. It means we started really our uh, cooperation. And really, one target group in our cooperation is the German Institute, GIZ, GW, and on so on. Lisa next. Yeah. So maybe some the history of German Vienna University yeah, network. Yeah. Our first project, really the three universities, yeah, it's me from Germany. We started in Algeria, yeah, in Blida and Constantin, 2070, 2090. Yeah. We collect a lot of information. Yeah. Please the next. So the then parallel, really, we started in Jordan and one GIZ uh, uh, project. But it was yeah, the three universities from uh, Germany and four universities from uh, Jordan, and we worked together. Yeah, maybe after one year, yeah, we started. It's me to expand this cooperation to another uh, to another country. Now we work in Morocco and and in Egypt. Next, please. So, and really, no, please, yeah. And really, now we look, it's me to continue our work. Really, we need support. And without support, yeah, it's not easy to continue the work. But I can tell you really all, now we know each other and we will continue our work by the education, by the research, and maybe in some project. The next, please, yeah. So maybe, uh, the, the core activities was in the German MENA, the online lecture, yeah, with experts from Hamburg, from Rostock, from Brevent member, uh, from authority. It mean it had a lot of lecture. I think we have more than 30 lecture, yeah, in all the, the time. And maybe really lecture from the students from the region and from our, our partner. So, and we work together in some projects, yeah, and some project in bachelor and master thesis. Yes, we started, it's mean master thesis yeah, in EPR. It was really, sorry, it was a new topic in the uh, in Jordan and in, um, it's mean in, uh, uh, in Egypt. Now we have two master thesis and we start to work uh, about it. And now our universities start to work about, it's mean that this may of uh, so. It's mean now we have material this material is ready, really, to give to the other countries and really to the world. Yeah. So, and we started, it means some research project, and that could, it means our target, and now we have qualified personnel 
really, if you know, if now, if we now, if now we go to, to the region, we work with our students. We like so much the idea. So next, please. Yeah, then really our target group, it was from the beginning of the project, the student, bachelor and master. So, and believe me, this 30 lecture was state of the art what we have in Germany. Yeah, it's mean so, it's mean for one and a half years, yeah, we give this uh, three, uh, four countries, yeah, really the state of the art in education and waste management. Yeah, so, and this material, and now we'll integrate it in the curricula in the uh, main region. In the third uh, semester of our, uh, in the, really in the first two semesters, we concentrate in the, on our, because our work on the student. But later, yeah, we integrate really, it means the government and the government inst institution. And now these institutions use our material to, uh, to. Now I give you uh, Ayla, so please to continue. Yes. I'll also continue now with, um, thank you very much, first of all, for giving the first information. I want to say more about the structure of the lectures and how the feedback of the students was about it. So here on the slide, you can see that uh, we had um, some also knowledge exchange within the lectures. So, of course, um, next to the introduction, giving a general idea of what we understand of waste management and circular economy. We also showed our research in the, in the second semester and also the MENA partners in the first semester showed us um, their uh, work, uh, what their universities are doing. And uh, we also had some lectures uh, by the GIZ, for example, showing what German MENA corporation is currently looking like in real life. Then, um, like we said, we had like uh, basic uh, lectures and advanced lectures. Some of the general technical lectures were about how to characterize waste and how to treat it along the um, waste hierarchy. So how can we treat um, mixed municipal waste, um, also in the MBT plant? How should landfilling work in comparison to open dumping? Um, what is waste to energy? Uh, we also had like a uh, guest lecture from the Uber for this. Organic waste treatment was uh, presented by the University of Rostock and uh, Dresden and packaging recycling as it's their speciality was taken over by the Hamburg University, for example. And uh, but then we also had a lot of guest lecturers showing how specific waste fractions can be handled. Um, so, for example, for VE, we had Karima, Karima Hamuda there from G GFA and hazardous waste was taken over from the Black Forest Solution Company from Sebastian Frisch. And uh, these topics are then maybe also already something more for master students when they have a basic understanding how does the whole waste management system work and how can specific waste then also be treated. But most importantly, master students then also have to know how does the whole framework around it works? How can I make decisions with tools like a life cycle assessment? How do treaties and regulations work or how can they exist and sometimes not work because they are not monitored? How can different financing systems like the EPR work? How do what um, place do communal companies take in all this? And how do would they work together with private companies? And also, how can start? Uh, we had uh, free startups in the from the MENA region present their work and how they grew because, of course, a lot of companies are still missing in the area. So we have to build them from anew, and that is through startups. And then. Also important is, of course, the logistic. We have like this, we have the whole cycle, but how does our material, our secondary resource move through these? And that is the logistics. And that kind of made up um, our course program where we kind of this left side, we would recommend more for bachelor students to start with in order for them to get an understanding what is waste. But what must also be included is definitely the framework conditions because without this it won't work. Um, 
So uh, who did we have? Like we had a mixture of bachelor and master students because that was actually finding a time slot where seven universities can meet with several students was a little bit hard since also we were always around 70 students, 100 students per semester. So um, we can see at the beginning we also still had a lot of bachelor students. That was also where we started to develop the lectures on the general topics, the technical topics I just showed. While in the end we had more master students because that was when we started to also include more of the framework ones from the financing and uh, invite more external experts to show how all, everything is connected in waste management. Um, they gave us feedback and uh, it always like this is on a Likert scale. So, you know, these questionnaires where you are asked to rate something on a scale from one to five, um, how much it helped you. And um, they were then allowed to say uh, like one, it was very good, nothing to improve on or like little to improve on as you can always improve. And um, five, it was an absolute disaster. Well, of course, we had some students who were completely happy and gave us just ones, and some might have struggled. So we had answers in the whole span, but the mean value, which you can see here, was in general a good one. And this is on time and duration. Like I said, we had a little bit trouble there. Um, because we had like these free hours uh, sessions, which are always hard on people to sit on a computer. So I think this was also the main reason why people were like, oh, yes, I mean, it's okay. I understand it. I want to do this for waste management, but it was hard. So if you have a longer program project for five years, you could um, have several days in the week with shorter lessons than what we had. And also, of course, in the win in the summer semester, so that um, the spring, basically the spring term, we always have uh, the celebratory season also. So a lot of people were also feeling tired. So uh, for the content, it was also very good. Um, we rated and here we can see a little bit the clarity of language was a problem, so English um, was like a little bit struggling, but we all know as we are here in this session right now, we need to know English in order to communicate between different nations. So um, it was important for us to also record our lectures so we can share it with the students so they can listen to it once more and uh, see what they missed. And uh, thankfully, we are, are probably nice people and we also got a good rating on the teaching staff. We also got written feedback and that was actually more like insightful than just getting the numbers because uh, they could leave comments for us. And it was good to have the external lecturers in there to mix also the real life experience and also open up for networking uh, experience. Um, also with the different lecturers, we always had an expert in something. So there was more knowledge that could be gained. Like I already mentioned, the language barrier uh, was a concern, um, but it is important as a common language and therefore it's important to find like options to share material and if there's sufficient funding for dolmetching, of course, uh, which was uh, suggested by one student, then we have, we need more practical training. There was like, yes, I love the knowledge in their lecture, but where's the practical stuff? That was also a comment in there. So I think if we could get some funding for laboratories, etc., and improve our um, education in the area, like not just the theory, but also the practical one would be very nice. And also, of course, to um, cooperate with graduation thesis so we can also use the research directly into the waste management area once more. And with this, I'll hand over to my colleague Zhenyang Gu from the Hamburg University, who will show you the online material we created, or like which is still about to like to be put online, but we already have some sneak peeks for you. Are you currently still muted? Thank you, Ayla. Can you still keep the last uh, slides?
Yes. Hi, everyone. Today, I would like to introduce you the online material produced under the framework of uh, our German MENA project, which is or will be uploaded later uh, to the Hamburg Open Online University platform to make the uh, output of this project sustainable. And the material introduces the basic knowledge including waste management anal analysis and different recycling technologies, uh, which is mainly for the bachelor students to build up their own, uh, their basic technical understanding for the graduate level, uh, more advanced and cross-sectional uh, knowledge is introduced. This part including, for example, life cycle assessment, extended producer responsibility, logistic and financing, etc., which was which also follow in the lecture structure uh, which when we have the online lecture form here i would like to present one bachelor lecture and one master lecture and therefore which leads me to share the screen and this is the first lecture is a bachelor lecture about the packaging recycling uh, this is divided. This lecture is divided into four parts. The first part shows who shows the state. What is the definition of packaging, and what material are they composed of? The second part is the packaging life cycle and the status quo, where we have some kind of uh, statistics showing where do we stand on the packaging recycling, and in the third part. Uh, and the fifth part and fourth part, more technical content are focused. Here we can see the whole process of the plastic mechanical recycling. And here are the process of a plastic sorting plant. In those two uh, sessions, we can it can be seen from the uh, it can be seen from the windows, like some information hotspots are built in where we can show more detailed of different steps in the technical insight where we also have uh, videos and we also have videos and photos taken from either from laboratory or either from a uh, real plant that we have we visited from the uh, industry and the next lecture I would like to show is a master lecture about economics and financing. In the first part of this lecture, the basic knowledge of economics uh, introduced or refreshed as our students are uh, from uh, multidisciplinary uh, backgrounds. Some of the students, especially in uh, major in engineering, might need some understand uh, more understanding uh, for the economic aspects and also to understand the later content, which is um, how to what is the relation between uh, economics on financing to waste management. Here we introduced, uh, for instance, the like the waste management financing and the financing options. Also, the link between economics and environment is built up. From this lecture, the economic aspect of the waste management can be deepened, which helps the, tr the transferring from only waste management to circular economy. Uh, in the last part, I would like to uh, bring some uh, field work, present some field work, which we hope in the future uh, all the partner universities could uh, be able to carry something or could be able to giving our students more practical input on the field or in the laboratory. Here we have a nice video uh, by of waste sorting. Can you hear the sound? No? No. no. OK. I but I can share also it. share the link of the video no. um, in the chat. OK, so, so I think I will share the video in the chat. Uh, uh, everyone who has uh, who has uh, uh, interest could uh, watch it in the YouTube and this will be also 
one part of our uh, online lecture content in the waste analysis section. OK. Mm -hmm. so that's uh, my part from uh, about uh, introducing our online material. I hope you like it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think uh, everyone is excited that uh, it will come uh, online uh, slightly after the project at the end of the year when how we can um, put it online and then everyone can also learn about waste management for free. Um, for now, we want to hear the MENA perspective of our four MENA universities um, one by one, how they think this project help or is uh, needed. And we will start with Professor Hani from the Just Universe, Hani Abukudes from the Just University. Um, you call me still Good. unmuted? Yeah, huh? yeah, thank you. Uh, hi, everybody again. And uh, thank you, Ayla, for having this uh, opportunity. Actually, I will start with uh, a statement uh, mentioned by Professor Kochta at the first beginning of this session. She said that uh, waste is a resource in the wrong place. Therefore, in the MENA region, we need experts to put it in the right place. Just few days ago, I had an exam in uh, environmental engineering and one of the questions to the students was um, mention the SDGs that are relevant to the waste. And uh, I got uh, almost 50% uh, mentioned none of them are relevant to the waste. But 50 mentioned that certain uh, are uh, uh, relevant. This tells you that uh, there is no, uh, because there is no specific uh, uh, um, the, the, the goal uh, devoted to the West because the West issue is a cross-cutting issue actually. So most of the SDGs are in a way or another relevant to the waste management. When I looked at the students who answered the right answer, I found most of them attended the MENA region lectures, German MENA, lecture, MENA uh, uh, lectures. So I think the project started having an impact on the capacity building. However, still we need, uh, we have a long way to go because as you know in the MENA region we are lacking uh, the experts in the field of uh, solid waste management. If you will go to a uh, waste management facility, uh, landfill or composting plant and see who are managing such facility, you will find them qualified engineer but they have little background in uh, solid waste management actually. Uh, therefore, it is important to uh, build the capacity and reach to uh, 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 create what we call, as Dr. Abdullah mentioned, the uh, uh, critical mass of experts in this region. Uh, for example, we need uh, qualified person to uh, operate the landfill, to operate the composting facility, uh, uh, engineers to manage such facilities. And I think the opportunity is uh, still ahead in developing what we have achieved in the first stage of uh, uh, German MENA network uh, to move into another stage where we can create build the capacity of a uh, person as well as the institutions. Uh, and by uh, having uh, well uh, focused programs like, um, let me say, a, a master program, for example, in waste management by uh, equipping the labs to enhance the research 
uh, opportunities for the people in this regard and maybe also to create like professional diploma at that at the level for the people who are already engaged in solid waste usually and this is from uh, our experience here in jordan uh, the projects which are uh, funded by the uh, uh, donors are successful as long as they are run by the donors but when they are transferring it to local authorities the projects going down this is because the lack of expertise to sustain such projects i think we need uh, experts in this area and the project maybe uh, if there will be a next uh, phase for the project, this will help a lot in this regard. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear that uh, the students that attended the lecture now know that uh, waste management is in the sustainability development goals. And with that, I, I am looking forward to see what Dr. Rafa Ashuri from the University of Constantine, our, we, our Algerian partner, has to say. Thank you, Ayla. So, hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Ashuri Rafa from the University of uh, Constantine 3 from Algeria. We had, we had the honor during these uh, two past years to be partner in the MENA project where our students attend the online courses offered by the, the German university and it was the first experience online teaching in Algeria. Um, the students who attended these courses were master students in environmental engineering. Their training is based uh, specifically on water treatment, but with this project they had the opportunity to discover the world of solid waste treatment and management, the field that is too neglected in Algeria. Thanks to this project, the students were able to work on different end of study project teams from previous years, which were mainly based on the water treatment processes. This year, students have worked on treatment and management of various solid waste, for example, uh, the treatment of the kitchen waste for the production of biogas and uh, biohydrogen, uh, the production of biofertilizer from uh, canteen waste, and the treatment of used oil for the production of biodiesel, and the creation of uh, smart beans for uh, waste uh, collection. The knowledge of different techniques, modes, and uh, processes applied in Germany was of great use of, uh, for our future graduate engineering who will be the future of uh, uh, the future leaders of startup in their countries, uh, which will improve and develop the field of management and treatment of solid waste in MENA region economically and socially. Finally, the German MENA project has created a very interesting network. We really want the continuity of this uh, exchange of information and experience from the different universities, but also to go, uh, to go forward and create more objectives for the development of uh, the German MENA project, such as the creation of a research projects, which will help the mobility of researchers, also the application and follow-up of student projects within university and the why not in the, the field. In the end, I would like to thank uh, the entire project team for their effort during these two years, and I hope that the adventure will continue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I think you spoke us all from the heart, saying that we want to continue, and uh, also thank you very much also being part of our team. And already prepared, I see uh, Professor Shirin El Ghuri from our from the Ein Shams University, ready to um, give her statement. Sure. Hello, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you. I um, would like to give you at the beginning, uh, you know, background on how waste management is in Egypt to see. To see Sorry, Shireen, we cannot hear you. Uh, we can maybe. Yes. Okay, so I would like first to uh, give you a short background on waste management in Egypt, just to uh, emphasize how important this project is and how important we would like to um, uh, 
prolong this project. So waste management in Egypt is one of the major environmental challenges that should be tackled urgently. While dumping, unfortunately, is still the dominant practice in Egypt, recycling and resource recovery practices are being implemented, but only on a limited scale. Uh, waste management is a critical topic, especially that Egypt is hosting COP27 in November 22, and also a global waste initiative 50 by 2050 will be launched during this COP. The good news is that the Egyptian government is working hard on improving the waste management system by issuing a regulating Global 20 and the supporting strategies, as well as numerous infrastructure projects to significantly enhance the collection and recycling rates. All that was reflected in the creation of 400 engineering vacancies in the Waste Management Regulatory Authority in Wemra in the Ministry of Environment. However, the sad news is that to date, these vacancies are not filled due to the paucity of skilled workforce in Egypt. Uh, this is in addition to that all municipalities in Egypt are lacking the needed expertise in the field of solid waste management. We need educated, qualified people on, on all levels, citizens, academia, engineers, operators, and decision makers. Joining forces in this regard with other Middle Eastern and North African universities through the German MENA Network for Waste Management Circular Economy was an important milestone in our educational and capacity building activities in Egypt. The German MENA Network did not only enrich the knowledge of our under and postgraduate students and engineers, but also of, of our staff members. Additionally, the continuous discussion on how to design and implement integrated solid, sustainable solid waste management systems, secure sufficient financing, and operate such systems with a skilled workforce are significantly widening our horizons and enhancing our applied research and consultancy services. We strongly believe that the German MENA Network for Waste Management Circular Economy filled a gap in environmental engineering education in Egypt by providing high quality educational courses in the field of waste management. Now, after a couple of years, um, one year and a half or two years of running this project, we believe that we still have miles to go together. Along with the skilled workforce paucity in the waste management sector that we are, um, we are having here in Egypt and we are lacking of, we are noticing a great interest among students, engineers and practitioners to learn more about solid waste management. And still, there are no educational pro programs in the field of solid waste management. On these basis, there is a vast need to provide a professional educational program, ideally an interdisciplinary engineering professional certificate in solid waste management, envisaged to deliver in uh, integrated knowledge and training in waste management and technology. To realize this, stakeholders working in the field of solid waste management, uh, Ministry of Environment, Ministry of Local Development, Industries, uh, NGOs, they, they all need our help in educating them. Thank you so much for your attention, and we are so looking forward to furthering collaborations with our German and MENA partners and with PREVENT. Thank you very much. I think it's very important to mention that, of course, no one ever stops learning. So also the practitioners who might not have to opportunity to join a German MENA University Network lecture should now also have the opportunity to join. And last but not least, not at all, uh, I would like to now give the word to Assistant Professor Lubna Effels from the, our Moroccan partner, University Kadi uh, Ayat. Thank you, dear Ayla. Thank you all. I'm so happy to meet up today with you all. And I would like, first of all, to thank you for this crucial opportunity uh, to have us all together, MENA regions and German universities, for this crucial opportunity project uh, with the PREVENT. Uh, so for uh, the formation, which is a fundamental courses, given the fundamental courses, it's the purpose, it's to transfer and to transmit a knowledge and the know-how to future, to prepare the future professionals, as well as the development and to prepare a team of research in this field of waste management and circular economy with the new reforms. So to have the objective for the lectures, which have been amplified by the continue to train the future students. 
So uh, for this formation for these lectures are organized in cycle and are ensured through experts in the field of waste management and circular economy. And through this formation, uh, we with us with students, we learned a lot about these lectures in uh, waste recycling, waste toward energy, land filing, organic matter, uh, recycling, uh, packaging, etc. So on. So that is for an utmost important for waste recycling and management for the MENA regions. And these training courses are given. Also, I would like to highlight this point. It's important in English because, as you know, for our country, especially in Morocco, Algeria, our, our uh, official language for education is a French. And to have the qualified person with an international language is also an added value for a sector of waste man management beside giving the knowledge and the how now. So that is the, the most important point also. And uh, as you know, our universities, uh, especially for a site, the technical site education and teaching is for also for an urgent need. We need also to, to have in view to link in with the fundamental and also with technical practice. That's uh, what we seek about this training also in the future. And in this last section about the training, we will also seek to establish uh, to what extent this has extremely modified the process for the constitutions of offer the training uh, to appreciate the extent and the evolution of progress for the lecture, which will be for important for the waste uh, management and recycling in MENA regions. And as you know, the waste management in our country's MENA region in general is one of the main challenges facing this region. So we need to maybe uh, face this problem uh, or to fix this problem, we need to have, first of all, the critical qualified mass, uh, the considerable efforts made by municipalities, etc., is not enough without uh, uh, expert and without mass expert and the qualified person. So the considerable efforts uh, will be also focused mainly to help prepare this critical mass. And waste recycling also remains informal in this form. So we need also to prepare uh, 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 for a, a sustainable development, uh, disqualified person. And also we need to have not only the qualified person, but I will join my colleagues because if we want really uh, face this pro problem, we need also to applicate the rules, the regulation, in order to maybe tackle the challenge against the poor management, the inefficient management for waste management. And by this, um, I would like to maybe keep uh, this uh, crucial opportunity because through this formation, uh, it's really important because we built the bridge, the link between uh, all together uh, uh, German universities and uh, uh, universities from Egypt, Jordan and Algeria. That is also um, an added value to have a consortium, a scientific consortium to work together. And we are hopeful to keep this collaboration ship for the sustainability, looking for other projects in this field in order to find solution together to tackle against this problematic for waste management. So I would like to thank you again and looking forward in this consortium and this collaboration ship. Thank you to, to all together. Thank you very much, Lubna. Wow, strong words. Yes, English is important. Yes, we want to work together and we also like the the research exchange you mentioned, I think, is very important because, like, if you have yeah. a, a lecture about EPR and master thesis about EPR and all of them, we can exchange. And also, the students, uh, we had these Wednesdays where they could present um, their findings, and it would be great if we could continue that.